I'm Charlotte from Charlotte Horror from the Christmas House. I make handmade Christmas decorations and I've been doing the general collective for I think about two or three years now. Um, and this is my work shed. What do you love about your own, running your own business? I love the fact that it's freedom, um, that I can choose the time that I work. My commute is non-existent. Um, I love working in my shed, I find it so inspiring. Um, but I love the flexibility of being able to meet the kids from school or do things for other people in the community as well. So the flexibility is the best thing and meeting the customers as well. And what is it about Christmas that gets you going? Oh, everyone loves Christmas. Everybody loves Christmas. What's not to love about Christmas? Um, I think everyone's always happy at Christmas. I think there's always a sense of excitement, um, a sense of um, being grateful for, for what you have. Um, I think people love coming together at Christmas. I used to be in the corporate world, just the freedom of being creative um, and it all just comes to me so I can be looking at a, a wooden love heart and thinking what do I do with this, what can I put on it, how can I change it, what ribbons can I use, who would like it. I often think of my customers when I'm making it. Um, so one of the things I do make is um, my Christmas stockings which are made from um, old wool blankets. And so I put them in the sun um, in my garden to make sure there's no stains. And then um, when I'm making them, I often think about the children that I'm making them for. And I also put the child's initials on if the parents let me know what the initial is. And so, yeah, it's probably made with love and, and it takes a lot of time, but I love doing it. What's the hardest part about running your own business? Admin, I'm not very good with IT, I hate websites. <laughs> What's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? And do some yoga sort of just think about what I need to get done for today and stay on task I think is another really hard thing when you're creative because you can get so sidetracked onto you start doing one thing and then you see a bit of ribbon and you think oh that would be good on something else so you get really sidetracked um, staying on task I think is the is the most important thing when you work for yourself because you can be distracted what's the last thing you do before you go to bed about what I need to do for tomorrow, <laughs> especially leading up to big markets. Um, I try, I have baskets of things that need completing, and so I work out what I need to do for the next day. What's the best part about being a member of the General Collective team? I think the sense of community, because I think when you do work for yourself and you do work on your own, um, it can be quite isolating, and I think Rose is fantastic at creating a hub, a community. She gathers very like-minded people. So even though our customers, you know, we want everyone to buy our product, but we're actually really pleased if they buy other people's products as well. And I often look around my house and see how many you know, products from the General Collective. So, you know, we do all buy from each other as well. What's next for the Christmas house? Um. Funnily enough, we were talking about that, my husband and I. It's whether I do wholesale or not. Um, my father-in-law, who is 84, um, he makes all my wooden reindeers. So this is where it all originally started, was the wooden reindeer. And he's 84, so he's getting a little bit old and a little bit tired. So I don't know whether we continue with purely handmade, whether we get these cut, um, and because he hand sands all of these. So it's just whether we, we look at going into wholesale into bigger production. Well, we can't wait to have you on the 11th of November. Oh, goodness, can't wait. <laughs>